change their answers tonight. So let's meet our next participant. Hong Shon is a 23-year-old fight promoter from San Diego, California. He is a former wrestler. Uh -oh. He was born and raised in Mexico with his older brother and sister. He was asked over 50 questions by a polygraph examiner. 21 have been chosen for tonight. Paul Schoen, this is your moment of truth. Hello, Paul. Very good. good? Yeah. Welcome great. to the show. Have a seat. Thank you. So glad to have you here, Paul. Glad to be here. How are you feeling right now? Feeling good. Are you going to be ready and able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? Yeah, pretty sure. Look at this sharp. Chat, you watched me watch this for the past three days, so you know what I'm about to say. What I'm about to say about this shirt, chat. Some people fucking, yep. It's the most 2000s era ass fucking shirt, dude. Look at these. Look at these fucking patterns, dude. He is good looking, yeah. This shirt is from a time when brands would sell you product exclusively for the guys. You know what I mean? This shirt is from a time when, you know, there was like, oh, get these gamer nuts or get these guys nuts, not for broads. Like, that's what this shirt reminds me of. Like, when you only wear tap out, but then you got to switch it up and you got to wear, like, something dressy, but you don't want to let go of the tap out vibes, this is what you wear. There are six levels of questioning. The further you go, Paul, the harder the questions get. But as you can see, the more money there is for you to win. Know that you can quit at any time and take the money that you've earned. But once you hear a question, you have to answer that question. Remember, if you're caught lying even once, you lose everything and the game is over. Got it. Cool? Yeah. All right. You're not only telling the truth in front of all of America, you've brought family and friends here to support you and listen to you. Let's meet them right now. Hi, my name is Maria and I'm Paul's girlfriend. Hi, I'm Karen and I'm Paul's mom. I'm the sister Jackie. I'm Enrique and I'm Paul's dad. Hi, my name's Federico and I'm one of Paul's best friends. Glad to have all of you. Welcome. So you understand that while some of these questions can be fun, some of them can be very, very personal. Are you ready for this? Of course. <laughs> well, ask us when the question comes and we'll... You can change your answer yeah, at any time as well. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get to it. Okay, my friend, let's get started. We'll start, of course, at level one. As you know, there are six questions in level one. All you have to do is answer all six truthfully, and you win $10,000. Do it. Remember, if you're ever concerned about the answers you gave on your polygraph exam, feel free to change them tonight, okay? okay. Are you a loyal friend? This is targeted Puerto Rican slander. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. I feel like that's uh, back in the 2000s, that was not exclusive. You know what I mean? That was just like, it was for everybody. You're pretty loyal. I guess I should ask that of Federico. <laughs> He's loyal. It's tough when it comes with, uh, uh, to women, but. <laughs> hey, earmuffs, Maria. Earmuffs. Earmuffs. All right. Already on the first question? Earmuffs. <laughs> All right. Very loyal. He says you're a loyal friend, though. I'm loyal. Question one. <laughs> nope. Have you ever ignored a friend that you know? Needed your help. <laughs> Easy yes. Yes. <laughs> that answer is true. Good one. Everybody has. I guess everybody has. Everybody has. That's one truthful, five more, ten thousand dollars. Seem like a very fashionable guy. Definitely like fashion. Yeah, you dress well, you're well- I've 100% done that. Like 100%. And if you guys say no, like you're crazy. You mean to tell me you've like never wanted to like not go out, for example, because you're just like uncomfortable? Yeah, you're probably doing it right now. Yeah, exactly. There's dudes in here who are like, I would rather watch this on. 
on Twitch right now and then do all this other shit. How can you do that to Will? Yeah, dude. Will is my only friend. <laughs> Room. Thank you. Question two. Do you have a mullet because you think it attracts women? <laughs> I'm just reading it. This baby? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. A mullet, faux hawk, mix of the two. Rat tail, maybe? I don't know. You're rocking something there, kid. I'm just not sure what it is. <laughs> Why else would somebody have a mullet? So, yes. OK. <laughs> Come on. Come on, take it easy. That answer is true. Yeah. Good for you. Two truthful answers, four more. Uh, well, it's obviously working. Maria is a beautiful girl and your girlfriend, right? She loves the mullet. Do you like the mullet, Maria? Yeah, I like it. It's sexy. It's sexy. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good on you. Thank you. <laughs> How close are you and your mom? We're very close. We're a tight family. Are you having a good time? Oh, yeah. The chatter said this is going to get less and less fun. You're so right. We start off like laughing at how silly the questions are. And before you know it, it's like, did you murder a man in 1993 and get away with that murder? A cop will be asking the question. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's just fucked up. Wonderful. Proud of your little boy? You're very proud. Absolutely. Question three. Have you ever lied to a woman about the fact that you live with your mother? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that answer is true. <laughs> Three truthful halfway to ten thousand dollars. Did he ever lie to you, Maria, about that? No, I knew the truth. You said, here's a guy who lives with his mom and rocks the mullet. I want that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a charmer. I guess so, pal. <laughs> I guess so. Damn, Mark is like kind of pissed, dude. I want to talk about this button that's in front of you and let you know what your options are there. These questions are pretty light. I promise that we'll get more personal. If you hear a question you don't want to hear the answer to, reach forward, hit the button. Jackie, you got it, right? I got Story it. like, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Seem like a nice guy. Are you a generous person? Yeah. yeah? Generous. Yeah, sometimes. Question four. Have you ever borrowed money from a family member and spent it on something These are illegal? Weak. Dad? I don't think so. No? No, no I don't. I, no. No. Say no. <laughs> I don't borrow much money, so no, I don't like to borrow money. That answer is true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Breezing through the first four questions. Two more, and I give you ten thousand dollars. Let's do it. Bring it. Are you a man of your <coughs> word? I try to be pretty honest. Question five. <laughs> Dude, I love that. The gong. I don't know why. It's just the gong makes me so happy. It's like it's so disruptive. It, it's like disrespectful, actually. You know what I mean? It's like. If you ever, uh, you know, what's up? Or if you ever lied, it's like, oh, I tried to be honest. Dong! <laughs> it's timed so perfectly. Have you ever told your parents you quit gambling when in fact you hadn't? Yes. Uh... I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> that answer is true. Shows like this are bullshit because the reveal is always that they're shitty. No one is ever like, yeah, I'm pretty racist. Then it's revealed they're not one dimensional drama. Yeah. It's reality television. It's worse than reality television. It's like a, a TV competition show. Yeah, of course. It's it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to like let you fucking turn your mind off and just like laugh at it.
Ah, oh, so that's why he lives with his parents? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yep. Things are starting to make sense. Also, fuck you, okay? Not everybody that lives with their mom is a down bad and a degenerate gambler, okay? Some degenerate gamblers don't live with their parents. They, they live in Canada. <laughs> That's five, one more $10,000. What kind of gambling did you do? I was really hooked on blackjack. But you told them you were done with the gambling, you still had a few bets down. Yeah. One more truthful answer, $10,000 is yours. Question six. Have you ever lost more than $10,000 gambling? Wait, he's 23? Dude, what the fuck? Dude, yo, what was happening in the 2000s, bro? None of them had Valkyrie skin cream. Did they just not have skincare products or something? Like, or did they not know how to, like, take care of themselves? Every single motherfucker that we've seen looks like 35. Like, were they just, like, blasting cigs, dude? That dude is, like... 23 years old. He looks older than me, dude. What the fuck? In one day. Thank God for Valkyrie skincare products, which I will be using to eliminate the blue light from my life. Okay. And also moisturizing. Testosterone levels were higher in past decades. Wait, for women too? Because like, the ladies look fucking older too. Also, does testosterone automatically make you look older? I have to buy yet another standing desk for working from home. What brand do you have? I have Uplift. Yeah, bro. If he only used that fucking Valkyrie soap, dude, he would have been... Lamau, you said self-care was a scam before. When I say self-care is a scam, there's like obviously products that work. What I'm saying is the way that you market the self-care oftentimes is a scam. Like nothing actually fucking anti does like real anti-aging. You know what I mean? Testosterone does make you look older, i.e. your hairline. Yeah, that's true. Except the adrenochrome. Yes. Why do people Coming backtrack? Up. Wait, what do you mean? Why do people backtrack? Paul Schoen can't escape from his past. Do you keep a spreadsheet of all the women? People keep saying retinol. What the fuck is retinol? I think it's a lot of his sunscreen. No one really takes it seriously, but UV rays make you hella age. Faithful with America, but you told them you were done gambling. Retinoids are the only medically proven anti aging treatment. Wait, really? The thing that is now, the thing is that now we are more conscious about what's in our foods and products. Retinol promotes cell, cell turnover. Retinol is using popular skincare products. It's just an ingredient. Lol, retinol helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Should I be taking, should I be doing retinol? Retinol is the only thing that's been proven to generate cell turnover. All the pseudoscience is jumping out, but the answer really is that people just nowadays have higher standards. Skincare source for how blue light is bad for your skin is literally a WebMD article. Yeah, we saw, bro. You're too late to the game. There is actually one study that says, um, we also did literally find a study, but it doesn't matter. It's just one fucking study. And neither of that proves that, like, cream will help you. You're a man. You want wrinkles, bro? No, I don't. What kind of gambling did you do? I was really hooked on blackjack. But you told them you were done with these. Who ever lost more than $10,000 gambling in one day? That's a lot of money. I feel like this is uh, shit that he was like 
he, I mean, he was an addict and he was a victim. So I, I don't know. I don't feel like this is, I mean, it would be really embarrassing, I guess, to like admit on, uh, you know, national television, or maybe I just don't have the capacity to feel shame like that. Cause I've talked about my past, like transgressions, I guess. Yes. That answer Damn, someone is... just straight booed him. Crazy. True. Well, Paul, congratulations. You haven't lost today. That's 10,000. I mean, this motherfucker is a baller, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's thinking in his head, I'm going to fucking gamble that shit. <laughs> I'm going to get... <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Have a I want it back. Mom and Dad, did you know that he's lost $10,000 in the day? Never. Oh, my God. Mark, stop. They're there, Mark. You don't have to rub it in, dog. What the fuck? I no. Thought... No idea. If you could have put a number on how much you thought he'd lost gambling, how much did you think? $2,000. $2,000. The neighborhood of $3,000. neighborhood of $3,000. $10,000. $10,000. So steep. In gambling, there's ups and downs. I'm very well aware of the process. Yeah. <laughs> so you might win big, but then you might give it all back. Well, you've got $10,000 right now. Let's see if we let it ride. <laughs> I'm going for the gold. So you don't even <laughs> want to talk about it. No, let's do it. Yeah, how do you feel? Your son's a fucking degenerate, dude. What's up? Hey, parents, does it feel good? Your son's a degenerate gambler. He's a liability. What's going on? I'm Mark Wahlberg. And we move on to level two for $25,000, and here we go. What's it like answering some of these personal questions in front of your parents? Those were tough. I was thinking those were going to be in the high-level questions. Yeah, we're just starting. Let's do it. Okay. Question seven. Have you told your parents that you had made a lot of money in your business when, in fact, you wanted gambling? <laughs> Possibly a very wise play by Jackie and Federico. You hit the button. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna just throw this question out. Can we know the answer for that question? Can you know the answer? No, I promise that I would not reveal the answer <laughs> if you hit the button. But it's your son. I'm sure if you asked him, he would answer, truthfully. <laughs> okay, here's your replacement question. Question seven. Have you ever had sex with someone <laughs> and kept her underwear as a trophy. <laughs> yeah. Bro, she's like, she's like, damn, he did that with me. <laughs> but that's a, that, that's like a, that also is like a 2000s era meme kind of, you know what I mean? It's like, Hold on. That answer is... I have a whole trophy case. <laughs> True. <laughs> Maria, are you surprised about the little trophy item? There? I want to know where it's at. Where is the trophy? <laughs> it's hidden. All right, well, you have seven truthful answers. Let's move on to question eight. What attracts you to a woman? I look for the whole package. Looks, personality, charm. Feel like you have that with Maria? Yeah. I'm very attractive. You feel like your girlfriend's an idiot. Gong! <laughs> like, <laughs> watch. Question eight. Have you ever had sexual relations with someone you would be embarrassed to introduce to your mother? <laughs> there we go. This is like, okay. I'm getting a little bit of misogyny vibes from this show. It's like the questions that they're asking him are not like that hard. You know what I mean? Like who amongst us hasn't had sex with someone that they'd be embarrassed to introduce to their mother, you know? You know the answer to this question? I really, I, I know the answer. 
Even I know the answer. You know the answer too? Sadly. Yes. Even I know the okay. answer. You know it too, Mike? Yes. Your answer is? Yes. That answer is true. Yeah. <laughs> How did you and Maria meet? One of my best friends is engaged to, to her older sister. What do you like best about him? He's very outgoing and he's very sweet and romantic. Question nine. Are there things in your sexual history that you keep secret from Maria? Oh. <laughs> he didn't ask me this one. Maria, what do you think the answer to this one's going to be? I don't know. You don't know. Yes. Are there things in your sexual history that you keep secret from Maria? Yes. It's a man law. Man law. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that answer is true. That's nine truthful answers. Man law. Maria, he'd love to tell you, but he's I'm evoked the man law. Any yeah. questions you want to ask him? We'll talk about it later. Do you and Maria agree on most things? We honestly haven't had too many arguments. You guys get along pretty well? Yeah, we get along very well. Question 10. Do you think you would like to have children with Maria someday? I think he's going to say yes. Um, for last. Do you and Maria agree on most things? We honestly haven't had too many arguments. You guys get along pretty well? Yeah, we get along. No. That answer is true. God damn, bro. That sucks to hear. Imagine you're like, that's cool. Like, uh, okay. That's like, I guess there's no, uh, there's no future in this fucking relationship. That's tight to find out. I mean, I guess he's 23. That's true. Maria, does that hurt your feelings? Not more. You should be like, I'm 23, dude. I'm a fucking degenerate gambler at the age of 23. Do you think I should have children right now? She's a beautiful girl, and anybody would want to have kids with her. You do have 10 me. truthful answers, though, Paul. You're doing great. One more, $25,000. This is your $25,000 moment of truth. Are you a very organized person? I try to be. I, and, and the stuff I carry, I'm organized. Question 11. Do you keep a spreadsheet of all the women that you have had sexual relations with? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. What's your answer? I like to be organized, so yes, I do. <laughs> that answer is true. <laughs> Maria, are you aware of the spreadsheet? No, I was not aware. Is she on the spreadsheet? No I comment. Feel like I know nothing. No comment. I feel like you know nothing. He's like, that'll be $10,000, bitch. I'm not answering that without a fucking... I'm not answering that shit without money, you know? Spreadsheets are like... Like, what is the... Hassan's not freaking out because he does the same thing, Lamount. Bitch, I can't have a fucking spreadsheet. I barely remember what I ate yesterday. You think I'm going to fucking, like, you think I'm going to be able to, like, put all this stuff together on a fucking spreadsheet? I have no idea.
I don't even know how many people I've had sex with, okay? So, shut the fuck up. Of course you do. Don't even try. I 1 million percent do not. I would tell you guys if I did. I probably wouldn't if I did, though, because it is fucking weird. That shit gets leaked is over for real, for real. Know your worth is labor. Only answer incriminating questions. Incriminate yourself and destroy your interpersonal relationships for money. Yes. They're just sniping people one by one. First with the parents and the gambling shit. Now the girlfriend and next the best friend. Oh yeah, it's coming. Weren't you telling shit camp about it? About what? No. A spreadsheet? Are we just like making stuff? We're doing that thing where we just like make stuff up now. Normal people have lists. It's not weird. I literally would not be able to have it. It's uh, too late. Don't try to have a truly open conversation about sex with Twitch chat. You know this? Yeah, this. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I just saw Philip DeFranco. He said you had sex. Is this true? Yeah. Oops, wrong one, wrong video. Yeah. <laughs> is it simply a list or is there... Cutie said you were bragging about body count. I literally was not. That's not what Cutie said. Why are you guys such fucking incels, dude? That's not what she said. She said we were talking about like what to do. Like I was giving like a Chad Vice to Soda and Ludwig. And we were talking about like making ourselves last longer and Ludwig literally said it doesn't matter I win because I get to populate more people because I can come way faster than you that acting like it's easy to keep losing they only been like less than 20 people yeah I, I think it's She actually said that she misunderstood I think I mean yeah she wasn't there she just like walked in on us talking so she might have misunderstood I heard you beat your chest like a gorilla and pace around the room before sex that's true I do that no that's what you said she said you were talking about all the women you had sex with that was not what I was doing name category day is there a rating? There's a rating. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm guessing the next column has a phone number? No, no phone number. How many columns are there, Paul? Uh, five or six. Five or six columns. Have you seen it, Federico? Yeah, I've seen it. It's impressive, actually. <laughs> Why do you keep the spreadsheet? I'll actually blame it on my sister. <laughs> <laughs> When I was 17 or 18, she gave me a little black book. Right. You know, every guy has a little black book. Sure. And then computer, it was a computer age. So I threw <laughs> the little black book and I just put it in my spreadsheet. <laughs> I, I just keep updating. I do not remember this little black book. My little pimp book you gave me when I, for a birthday. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> my friend, that spreadsheet just won you $25,000. Yeah, good. Congratulations. Okay, you got $25,000. You said you're going for $500,000, but I'm going to stop and ask you every time we reach a new level, do you want to continue? I'm going to let you know that while some of these questions may be very easy for you, some of them are going to be personal. This next one is definitely personal. So, do you want to walk away with $25,000, or do you want to go to the next level? Listen, next level is four questions. Only four questions get you $100,000. I'm a very competitive guy. So yes. Let's go for the gold. Okay. Four questions get you to $100,000 in this level. Good luck. 
Question 12. Have you ever thought you were a disappointment to your father? Bro, these are easy as fuck, dude. Am I crazy? I guess I'm just like straight shameless. You know what I mean? Like, yes. My answer is like the easiest. Yes. Like literally there is not like $25,000 for this. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, dude. Of course. Yes. yes. That answer is true. Yeah. Congratulations, that's 12 Hassan's three mil pool cleaner. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. How did this happen? I got Hassan's mansion security guard. And I got Hassan's three million pool cleaner gifting me subs. I'm making my own fucking pool cleaners give me subs back. You know what I'm saying? And Femboy made too. Is there a particular circumstance why you feel like you may have disappointed him? Yeah, definitely the gambling. Gambling got to me. What do you think about that, Dad? I think everybody's entitled to some mistakes. I think you learned from them, and I'm extremely proud of them. Hassan's middle part. Thank you for the five gifted subs. <laughs> Uh, the absolute dumbest names in the chat, dude. Pay them, you hypocrite. Shut up, Iller Miller. You're on your way. Three more gets you to $100,000. Are you a dependable guy? Sometimes. Depends on the situation. But, yeah. What do you guys think? I think you're very dependable. Yeah. Very dependable. Maria, you think so? Yeah. Question 13. Do you think you could ever... Brittany Baby 99 thank you for the 10 gifted subs. ...ever be faithful to just one woman? <laughs> oh, my Ooh. I thought that was a $500,000 Oh, $500, shit, you found my question. fucking... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you found my spreadsheet, dude! What the fuck? I can't believe it leaked. Stop! Fuck. God damn it, dude. It's so, so embarrassing. God damn it. Almost as embarrassing as forgetting the top of the hour ad break is coming 10 minutes before the top of the hour. <sighs> or worse actually watching the ad instead of subscribing to avoid watching the ad for $5 or if you don't have $5 for free with a Twitch Prime. That's right. I did that. I, I haven't missed yet today on those fucking segues. I have not missed yet. No brief. Think of the five get the subs. Chud Nevada gubernatorial candidate shooting critical race here with a gun. Oh yeah, I forgot to watch this earlier. Michelle Fiore, who's been called like the female Trump or something. That's right, dude. At the top of the mother freaking hour, dude. The mother effing hour. There's a six second hour break. Not a big deal. Especially not a big deal if you are subscribed. Uh, segways have been great today. I'm on fire today. Boom. The question is, do you think, not now, but do you think you could ever? No way Hassan would lie by gaming for the third straight day. Not to you, Weeby. Not to my, not to my number one, uh, uh, you know, watchdog of, of skin, skincare products. <laughs> Be faithful to just one woman. Thank you, Theodore Cruz official. Oh shit, I should have waited for the fucking hour ad break thing. 
because it would have been a perfect opportunity to run it right there with the TV show. We be told you he wouldn't game earlier because it's unlocking bullshit. Omega lol get rolled gamers. Uh. Yeah, it was his fault. Guys, it'd be your own ones. Okay, we be is the number one gaming frog in this community. First time you were here. When is gaming? The number one Marxist Leninist gamer frog in this community. Okay. Like the number one. And let me tell you something. He's the reason because he said this cultivating an audience of 14 year old stands to sell snake oil bullshit is okay now claiming all criticisms for incels literally lip shit anyone mad about your tweet is stupid but don't defend this on stream heck wait while i do think you were wrong on this it's not worth the stun lock heck wait he did this is literally because of him that i got fucking when i went down that when i went down that fucking stun lock hole dude yeah he fucked himself up. Are you a dependable guy? Sometimes. Depends on the situation. But, yeah. What do you guys think? I think you're very dependable. Yeah. Think Maria, you think so? Yeah. Question 13. Do you think you could ever be faithful to just one woman? Oh I thought that was a $500,000 question. <laughs> well, the question is, do you think, not now, but do you think you could ever be faithful to just one woman? Like, literally in general. I want to see what you said. No. Oh. <laughs> That answer is... Oh, I'm so mad. True. Oh. <laughs> That's 13 truthful answers. You're doing great. Two more to $100,000. Is this a surprise to you, Maria? Yeah. I'm very been... disappointed. <laughs> Does that make you wonder how faithful he's being to you as you guys are dating right now? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to add to this? I respect Maria a lot, and it'd be difficult to hurt her, though. So. You don't do that when you respect someone, I think. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Mom, any advice? It's a big advice. I mean, I do hope that you mature enough to understand what love is all about. You, you'll have to really think about what you just said. I want him to gamble and go all the way. Okay. You've answered 13 truthful, two more, you win $100,000. Well, I guess we've heard that you're a little bit of a ladies' man. Some try to be. I try How to be. How old did you say you are? 23. That's a lie, gong. Are you lying about your age and you're actually 35? Yes. Boom. Roasted. Now we know. Question 14. I'm just a simple pool cleaner with a skimmer and a bucket happily cleaning out the pool after Hassan fucks gray names mothers next to it. <laughs> you're such a fucking idiot, dude. Chat's moms. Chat moms with the five gifted subs. What the fuck? Thank you, chat moms. Have you had sexual relations with over 100 women? Oh. Oh, <laughs> A question you're going to have to answer in front of you. Bro, I need to know what this dude looks like right now because he's like close to my age. He's 23 years old. It's like 2008. Okay. I was 17. Like, I need to know, like, because I look like this now. I need to know what this motherfucker looks like now.
This is him now? Wait, is it actually him? Damn, he's a Chad, dude. Never mind, he looks pretty good. Literally a fucking Chad, dude. Spoilers, chat. <laughs> oh no, spoilers. Like as if he's gonna die in the end of this. Wait, he died of COVID? No, he did not. Wait, is that the other dude? You wanted an ego boost, but you got wrecked? Is this actually him? Wait, that's the, that's the, what was his name? That don't look like Federico on there. Voyage LA meet Sean of Sean Tepler group in Hollywood. Damn, he's like fucking killing it, dude. He's like... Back in 2009, I was brokering apartment buildings at Marcus and Millichap. I was fortunate enough to get introduced to my business partner, Artem Tepler. Motherfuckers made a living making ugly ass buildings, dude. Look at him. He's like a hot landlord, dude. That's crazy. Living the life I wanted when what? Wait, Paul Schoen. Wait, that's not him. His name is well, what the fuck's the dude's name? Of your mother and your father and your girlfriend and your sister. Yes. <laughs> I must not go. That answer is... Oh my God. <laughs> True. 14 truthful. Oh, this guy's literally just a killer, dude. He hasn't stopped killing. Hassan's handyman. Oh, you mean Marat? Thank you, Marat, for the five gifted subs. Marat's in the chat, I guess. Wow. <laughs> Maria, I'm going to guess this is a little bit of a surprise to you. Yeah, everything is. Does it change how you feel at all about him? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. They're booing her. Answers. Bro, this audience is uh, this audience is just as demon like as Mark is. They fucking clapped when the lady was like, uh, yeah, fuck homeless people. But they're like, boo! When they're like, you don't want your man to fuck a hundred ladies? Like, fuck you. <laughs> Boo! One more is hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> However, in the first fourteen questions, you have thrilled your friend Federico. <laughs> you know what? Someone said in the chat that she looks like Kylie Jenner. She, if Kylie Jenner looked like that, she wouldn't have done plastic surgery. She looks like hotter organic Kylie Jenner. Come on, you buddy. learned that you've been saved by your sister. <laughs> you have shocked your mother. And your girlfriend sits there a little bit dismayed. Girls love a bad boy. That's why I'm red pilled. What a fucking Chad. Girls love a bad boy. That's why I'm red pilled. What do you mean? Don't finish it. It's a bad look. Don't finish it. It's a really bad look. Copium. Then just don't defend her. He's more of a Chad than you. Okay. Stock account. Get the fuck out of here.
This next question could be so simple, it'd be the easiest $100,000 you ever earned. But if your answer is yes to this question, the shocks that you've had up to this point, Maria, would pale in comparison to this. Oh, great. Oh, my God. Would you like me to read the question? Can't get worse than the Puerto Rico today. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, my eyes. Why? Why did you send that? Why did I click that, dude? No trigger warning either? What the fuck? Question 15. Have you ever been paid for sex? Oh fuck. I'm going to I'm going to shut the fuck up on this one, bro, okay? I don't want to get canceled again. I'm going to be like sex work is real work. That's valid. And then, you know, everybody's going to eat me alive. Coming up. It's the woman everyone. I can't believe they had Pluto on the show. That's crazy. Like, wild that he was on the show. $100,000 you ever. The shocks that you've had up to this point, Maria, would pale in comparison to this. Oh, great. Oh, my God. Would you like me to read the question? A man doing sex work? I thought sex work was exclusively done by women for the pleasure of men and nothing else. There's no other, there's no other sequence where sex work happens. It's just like only women are doing it for men. Cishet white men. Everybody knows this. Can't get worse than the best. Oh boy. <laughs> Question 15. Have you ever been paid for sex? <laughs> for $100,000, what is your answer? Yes. <laughs> respect dude my respect for this man is growing dude i've seen the wonderful flower he has blossomed into okay and not only that but also he's done sex work too i respect that <laughs> that answer is True. Yeah, this puts the Excel spreadsheet in a different light. My man was just doing accounting. You know what I mean? He's just doing business. Like, <laughs> it, it turns out we, we judged him. We were like, oh, that's kind of weird, dude. Like, you fucking, you have a fucking spreadsheet. Turns out he's just like, that's, that's his, you know, he's just doing the books. <laughs> yeah, there was a ledger. Please explain. I would, during college... I, I was getting paid for it, so I took the money. Bro, this dude is going to jail, by the way. I mean, this, this might not, like, ruin his family, but, like, he might go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is pretty sure it was, like, so you can stop now and take your $100,000. If you want to go for it and see how it works out, damn bull, damn bull, damn bull. As long as you keep telling the truth, what's it gonna be? I think you should stop. The questions defeated me. I, they, they were tough. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm done. Well then, Paul. Congratulations, you've just won $100,000. Aw, you fucking pussy. Wait, why is there more? Good job. Let's meet our next participant. Boo! Angela Simmons.
is a 27-year-old interior designer from Tahunga, California. She has been married to her husband for two years. She is the oldest of four children with three younger brothers. She was asked over 50 questions by a polygraph examiner. 21 have been chosen for tonight. Angela Sim uh, He's not a, I mean, he's not a very good gambler if he's gonna fucking, you know, stop there. It's kind of fucked. 